The purpose of this presentation is to provide training in the use of the HiPot 150 electrosurgical insulation tester. The HiPot 150 is used to test insulation of electrosurgical instruments, cables and accessories that normally carry electrosurgical current. It is not to be used to test electrosurgical generators and should never be connected to the output of an electrosurgical generator. An electrosurgical generator is a device which produces electrosurgical current, often called a diathermy machine. The electrosurgical current is used by a surgeon to cut or coagulate tissue at the tip of the instrument. If the current leaks out of the instrument, it may cause significant damage in a place where the damage cannot be seen at the time by the surgeon, but it could have large post-operative consequences. The two main modes of operation of the electrosurgical generator are monopolar mode and bipolar mode. Monopolar mode is where the current is supplied at the tip of the instrument and the current returned to the generator through a large conductive pad attached to the patient. This current can be supplied at voltages up to 4000 volts. It normally only has one current carrying lead However, there may be other switching connections. An example of this is the standard diathermy pencil, which has one active connection at the front and two switch wires. Bipolar current flows only between the two active tips of the instrument, and therefore usually supplied at a much lower voltage and power, up to 1000 volts. A bipolar instrument will have connections for two current carrying leads. A typical example is the bipolar diathermy forceps, which can have two pins connected to the head of the forceps. Several other instruments are designed to only be used at low power, for example ophthalmic pencils, and they would be treated as if they were bipolar. There are several very good reasons to test electrosurgical instruments. We need to minimize the risk of an unintended burn both to the patient, to the surgeon and to staff using the equipment. A small hole in the insulation can allow debris to build up under the insulation where the autoclave steam cannot penetrate and become a source of infection. Checking the continuity of the cables reduces the risk of output surging where the surgeon calls for more diathermy power due to the current not getting to the surgical site due to a bad connection. If the wires suddenly make contact, then an unintended large amount of current is delivered, which could also cause significant unintended damage. We test the insulation of an instrument or accessory by applying a voltage similar to the maximum voltage applied during use, but at a much lower current. These voltages are 4000 volts for monopolar and 1000 volts for bipolar. The HiPot 150 is a very sensitive instrument and can detect very small leakage currents. The current supplied is so low that you cannot feel it. You can only feel the small static discharges that it creates. The current is supplied from an intrinsically safe output with triple redundant safety systems. The role of the wrist strap that you'll see when the unit is set up is to drain off the small static voltages so they do not build up. The wrist strap works a bit like the grounding strips that you may see on some cars to ground out the static. The normal static voltages you can generate in a car or walking over a newly carpeted floor can exceed 20,000 volts, which is much higher than the output of the HiPot 150. The HiPot 150 was designed to be used by sterilizing staff between cleaning and sterilizing the instruments. After much industry consultation, it was decided that this method gave good results without the need to break the sterility of the instrument to test it and then re-sterilize, which would seriously reduce the working life of the instruments. As the instruments you'll be testing have not yet been sterilized, it is recommended to use gloves, which also reduces the nuisance static charges that can be experienced when testing. There are a number of things to keep in mind when using the HiPot 150 to ensure that it is used in a safe and effective manner. 
Don't use it in a patient treatment area. Don't use it on a patient. Don't use it in the presence of flammable materials, liquids or gases. Don't use it if you have a pacemaker. The HiPot 150 is very safe to use. It has many built-in safety features. However, you can add another layer of safety by simply not deliberately touching or allowing anyone else to touch the high voltage contacts. Disconnect the plug pack charger during use. To ensure that your HiPot 150 remains fully functional and safe to use, only Electrolab or its appointed agents should undertake servicing. It is recommended to use gloves whilst testing to reduce the risk of infection from non-sterilised instruments and reduce the effect of static discharges. The range and variety of instruments and accessories that the HiPot 150 can test is very large. Sometimes it may be necessary to obtain more information from your biomedical department, service provider or the manufacturer or their agent about particular instruments. The HiPot 150 should only be used to determine if an instrument has become faulty. It cannot be used to determine if the instrument may become faulty during subsequent sterilising and handling. You should only test dry instruments. Some insulation materials absorb water. The meter on the HiPot 150 can be used to determine if an instrument is wet. If you see the meter deflecting but is not buzzing or indicating an insulation breakdown, Try heat drying the instrument and retesting. Connect the wrist strap. Connect the ground, the common return lead, and to the instrument you're going to test. Plug the brush into the red electrode if you're using monopolar. Extend the brush. Switch the unit on and check that it's connected. The HiPot 150 is now ready to test. To connect the wrap electrode, push the wrap electrode into the dovetail. Connect it to whichever of the two active voltages you require. Red for monopolar, blue for bipolar. Connect the wrist strap. Connect the instrument you're testing to the common return. Make sure the unit's on. Test it, making sure it buzzes, then run the unit through. As you see a breakdown, you'll hear it, you'll see a light here, and you'll see the meter deflect. Testing the diathermy pencil using monopolar. Test the switch, coag and cut. Test the active lead. Make sure that the unit's connected. Apply small pressure to make sure it keeps closed. Pull the lead through, noting if you hear any buzzes, clicks, or you see a significant movement of the meter.
you can stack the two testing electrodes. So extend the brush. Connect the instrument, the return electrode. Now you can check the handle. And then check the shape. Extend the brush. Connect the instrument to the return electrode. Check that it's working. Run the brush over the insulation. This test indicates that the instrument's faulty in many places. Packing up the HiPot 150. Press the off switch until the red light is turned off. Retract the brush electrode and remove. Take off the wrist strap. You can remove the wrist strap if you wish, or you can leave it connected. You can remove the ground lead if you wish, or if you're just using it overnight, you can leave it connected. Remove the return electrode. Remove the wrap electrode. making sure you keep your thumbs to the middle pull straight up on the dovetail and out and now reconnect the battery charger so that it can charge overnight making sure that the charging LED is on there are many types of instruments that can be tested using the HiPot 150. Shown as some methods for connecting some of the leads or instruments you will be testing. For continuity, the HiPot 150 tests leads connected between the two black sockets. The HiPot 150 will buzz and the continuity LED will come on if the lead is OK. Check the lead by twisting it, especially at the ends where the wear is the greatest. Look for the continuity LED flickering or the buzz stuttering. Some dithermy leads may plug straight into the 4mm black sockets and one or both ends may need to be connected via the black extension leads provided. These leads have a 4mm plug and socket at both ends. Also provided are clocodile clips that may also be used. The extension leads may also be used when you're doing the insulation tests. Continuity testing of bipolar forceps can be performed by connecting each lead to a black socket and completing the circuit by closing the forceps so that the connection is made through the tips. When insulation testing bipolar instruments, you need to connect both leads to the large black return socket. You may need to also use the extension leads for this. Plug the pencil or the wrap electrode into the blue 1000 volt bipolar socket. 
This concludes the HIPOT 150 user training presentation.